Traders, how the devil are you? Welcome back to Simply Forex. Uh, today is Thursday, the 23rd of November, and we're going to look at yesterday's trades, we're going to look at today's potential trades, and we're going to look at the important news for today as well. Let's do this. Um, so yesterday, guys, uh, we took a trade, and it was Aussie dollar Swiss franc, and we were looking to buy Aussie dollar Swiss franc. So let's just understand why we were looking for buys, first of all. So the market was in an uptrend at this point, okay? But then it, you know, started to make lower highs, but we also had higher lows. So it was tricky to understand the market here. But as soon as we got a break with this candle here of these highs, the market makes sense again, yeah? And we were looking to take price back up to here. If I zoom in a bit now, yeah, it really this candle was the catalyst. I know we had, you know, a bearish candle, you know, this is more of a doji really. Um, so I was still willing to take buys once we had a nice retracement, but mainly because of this candle here. If we drop down to the H4 now, it was a H4 trade with an M15 structure break. Okay, so let me explain. So there was this level through here, guys, where you can see price kept hitting. And, you know, eventually we got this very nice H4 reaction. Okay, um, but I actually entered on the M15 structure break. So if we zoom out a little bit now, we can see this here. So this is that H4 level that I was speaking about here. And as you can see, guys, if we just follow M15 structure, bang as soon as we break these highs we have had a structure break so i actually entered on the close of this candle okay put my stop below here and i took price up to 5806 okay and literally like got out of the trade here before it started turning on us um so that's how i entered okay but let's go back to the h4 all right and you know and and by the way, guys, all of my entries and, and how I trade is all on the VIP Discord. So check that out. But this just sums up the market at the moment. And this is a perfect example of why you should take profit. Because these markets are horrible. As I keep saying, guys, they like go in one direction. And you know, you know, like just look at this market. You know, we're we're in an uptrend. Bang, we're in a downtrend, bang, we're in an uptrend, bang, down, we're in a downtrend, bang, we're in an uptrend, bang, downtrend, uptrend, downtrend. It's just tricky, bloody markets, all right? I, you know, but this was a successful trade. But, you know, thank God we took some profit. So the price come up to here, literally took profit here. And then, you know, since then, look what's happened. Just a total bearish reaction, yeah, which is just not expected if i go if i go back to here yeah and i said to you you know right guys what are you going to do with this market you know just looking at this h4 candle you know and the day chart is in an uptrend you'll be like right tom let's take this let's take this back higher and i'll be like yeah let's do that guys all right and then you know a few candles later you feel like the market has totally turned on you yeah, and that is just summing up the market at the moment, guys, all right? So take profit, you know, take profit when you can and, you know, reassess the trade, you know, once price reacts. Because I'm still in this trade for 20%. And all I'm going to do, guys, is move my stop from here, you know, to here. And that's all, that's all I've done so far, all right? Because this is the last swing low on the H1. And we'll see if it gets taken out. No problem. We still made some nice money. If it carries on, great. Okay. But yeah, uh, you know, a good trade, but sums up the market. Um, the other pair we were looking at was this, guys, was Aussie dollar, Canadian dollar. So again, if we look at the day chart, um, we were, you know, clearly in an uptrend. You don't need to be Warren Buffett. Yeah. And we were looking to take price higher. Again, it was more this candle that was the catalyst to take things higher. Then we had this candle, which didn't really tell me sellers were in control. 
So we were still looking, willing to look for longs, but I do not fancy buying that candle. That is a bearish candle, and I don't fancy buying that. So, um, so yeah, we'll see what happens with this today. But yesterday, guys, we we almost had a trade. Okay, so at the start of the day, guys, if you if you remember, I this is the H one, and I pinpointed this grey zone because of this level here. And we actually got a break. This candle here broke this level. Okay. Um, and I said to myself, let's, you know, let's see what the H4 candle does. But even if you didn't, just look at those H1 candles. Again, the market completely turns on us. All right. And if we look at the H4 candle, you know, this, this wick on this H4 candle, didn't fill me with confidence to take this trade. And thankfully, I didn't. Yeah. So use the candles, guys, and what they're telling you to keep you out of trouble. You know, just don't blindly, as soon as you see a break of this gray zone, just don't blindly enter. Oh, we've had a structure break. I'm entering. Read what the candles are telling you as well, guys. All right. And look, they come storming down. So we didn't trade Aussie dollar, Canadian dollar for those reasons. Um, and those were the only two trades from yesterday, guys. Let's take a look at today's trades now. Guys, if you enjoyed yesterday's analysis and you enjoy receiving my trade ideas every day, then why not come join us? Yes, yeah, subscribe to the channel right now, guys. We'd love to have you. Also, smash the notification button so you receive an alert every time we post a vid. And if everyone could please smash the like button right now. Really help support the vid um, and the channel, guys. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Sipas, Takar, uh, Terra Makasi, Salama, Grazi. Okay, a few different thank yous. I am multilingual. Um, right, guys, so trades for Thursday, the 23rd of November. Before we get started, guys, let me just mention a few things. First of all, we've got the free Discord channel. Come join it. It's free. We've got traders in there sharing ideas, knowledge. We've got books, indicators, useful links, loads of value in the free Discord, guys. Come join it. The link is in the video description. Next, guys, we have the VIP Discord channel. Okay, You do have to pay for this, but you get access to me throughout the trading day, as in you can ask me questions. I give you my trade ideas as and when they happen, like the Aussie dollar Swiss franc trade yesterday. Um, also have two other expert traders sharing their trade ideas. We have got the trading academy which is just full of tutorials guys yeah so you know we're proud of this academy so come join it for that and also you get access to a performance coach as well guys all right so check it out vip discord the link is in the video description next guys if you would like to be coached one-on-one -on -one with myself and read the charts like myself then drop us an email and we'll send you the details of the mentorship program the email is in the video description and finally guys if you watch the analysis feed every day the live stream and would like to show your support for the channel then you can you can become a supporter or gold member and both tiers have many perks guys so check it out and finally, don't forget, live stream today, 7 a.m. New York EST time. Come check it out. Get your questions ready. I'm ready for you. Um, right. Trades for Thursday, the 23rd of November. So, again, I don't mean to sound like, you know, Groundhog Day, but again, tricky markets, guys. For example, right, I was continuing to look at Aussie dollar Swiss franc as a potential buying opportunity. Okay. Okay. Because again, I, I like the fact that it's at the moving average 20. We've clearly got higher highs and we're in an uptrend. Okay. So I was considering Aussie dollar Swiss franc as a trade for today. Yeah. To take it back up to here. But then, yeah, you know, you need to consider other Swiss franc pairs. All right. So if we go to New Zealand dollar Swiss franc, which is highly, highly correlated to Aussie dollar Swiss franc, you know, I want to sell it. Yeah. Again, the day chart, we just find ourselves in this range. OK. And we've got, you know, at the top of the range, we've got this bearish candle and I would want to take price back down to here. Yeah. So this would suggest Swiss franc strength. I mean, even if you looked at a, a less correlated Swiss franc pair, let's look at Euro Swiss franc. You know, 
this is very bearish. So Swiss franc strength, potentially. So my Aussie dollar Swiss franc buy trade doesn't make sense all of a sudden. Welcome to the tricky bloody markets at the moment, you know. Um sit on your hands really guys but one thing i am going to show you today and these are potential trade ideas and that is have you all seen the film return of the king lord of the rings return of the king this is the return of the cad potentially less catchy film title admittedly but yeah return of the cad and i'm gonna and these will be against trend trades all right, but let me just explain a few things and what I'm seeing and what I'm thinking. So I don't have any trade ideas with trend, with daily trend, guys. All right, so I'm just going to show you a few things I'm looking at with the Canadian dollar. First and foremost, we should probably look at oil with the Canadian dollar. Okay, and just look at that reaction at these lows. Yeah, you know, could this be the springboard for you know the the oil to gather some strength okay because also guys if we look at the weekly chart you know it really is at a nice weekly level it's nice weekly level through here and just look at all of these wicks obviously the current week hasn't finished forming but just look at the wicks there is an incredible amount of buying pressure here remember these are weekly candles all right, so this tells me we could potentially at least come up to the next area of resistance. Yeah, and this is reflected on the day chart. I know some of our guys in the VIP were shorting oil. Yeah, and nice, you made some profit, but I hope you took some profit and got the hell out of there. Because look at that reaction. And, you know, I was talking about this head and shoulders pattern. Mm, okay, kind of, kind of. All right, so... This could oil, we could see some oil strength, okay? Um, so that is obviously going to impact the Canadian dollar and give the Canadian dollar strength. So here are a few Canadian dollar pairs I'm looking at. So pound Canadian dollar. If we start with the weekly chart, okay? It's at this interesting level through here where price has reacted before. You know, it hasn't reached these highs, but, you know, if this weekly candle finishes like this, we would, you know, definitely be looking for sales, all right? But if we look at the day chart now, you know, we're just getting a, a very bearish candle at a nice level of resistance, okay? We have, we had like a wick here. This is telling us that buyers are slowing down. And then we have Kapow, yeah, Batman style that is telling us that sellers have taken control. And because we're against trend, I'm not going to be greedy. I'm not going to try and take it down to here. I'm just going to take it down to this blue level here, this blue line. All right, this 7050 psychological level. If we drop down to the H4, what am I looking for? I'm just looking for a retrace back to the last lows. Because even the H4 structure's broken down as well. Look, we, we wasn't making higher highs. How many times have I said that's a red flag? And then look what happens. Bang. Yeah. Down. All right. So we're in a H4 downtrend. So all we want to see is a retrace into this gray zone. This will be a lovely entry. We've got the moving average 20 coming round. We've got these, you know, what was once support becomes resistance. We get a bearish reaction in here. We are selling pound Canadian dollar. Okay. That's the first CAD pair. Please remember these are all against daily trend. Uh, the next one is EuroCAD. All right, let's take a look at EuroCAD. Um, again, let's start with the weekly chart. And this one has literally reached the highs. Yeah, these are these last highs from over here. We've reached those highs. All right, and we're getting a bit of a reaction. <laughs> oh, excuse me, guys. Man flu is real. This is the longest man flu, and I might enter the Guinness Book of Records of the longest man flu. Um, so, yeah, we're getting a weekly reaction here, guys, at resistance. If we drop down to the day chart, you know, this would probably have trade the day before yesterday, yeah? But, we're, we, we're, you know, sellers are taking control of this market. And, again, because we're against daily trend, you know, we clearly are not going to be greedy, 
just going to take it down to the next 4850 psychological level. Okay, if we drop down to the H4, you know, it writes itself. Yeah, you know, you don't need me to point out this zone. It's there. It's crystal clear. Yeah, the market shows you the zones. It reveals its hands. It exposes itself, but in, not in a weird way. Um, so, yeah, we just want to see price retrace into this gray zone. What was once support becomes resistance. Yeah, we get a bearish reaction and we can look to take price lower. All right. And again, you can see H4 structures breaking down. Um, and then we, yeah, the one more CAD pair I'm looking at is this, is New Zealand dollar, Canadian dollar. I'm going to reiterate, these are all against trend. Okay. But let's start, let's have a look at the day chart. Let's have a look at the weekly chart. Um, and guys, before I just show you this uh, New Zealand CAD trade, guys, if I could just ask everyone to please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And everyone, please smash the like button as well. And please don't forget all the cool things we do. We've got the free Discord channel. We've got the VIP Discord channel. We've got the mentorship program. And we've got the Simply Forex YouTube membership. And we've got the live stream later today. Right. There's a level through here. Yeah, support resistance resistance potential resistance okay so there's a level through here and also if we look at the day chart again this is in an uptrend i'm fully aware of that i haven't lost my marbles but again if we have you know if you see this reaction followed by this you know sellers have taken control all right and the idea is to just take it down to this blue line here Okay, if we look at the H4, we're at a level right now. Yeah, this is the level we could potentially trade from. So we'll see what happens in here. But you can see, you know, price used that as resistance, come down. It was resistance again. It's come down. And now we're at this resistance level again. Yeah, we are, you know, looking for entries in here, for sell trades in here. Um. So, yeah, we're getting a bit of a reaction now, guys. If we look at the H1, okay, we haven't quite had a reaction yet. Nothing bearish enough. But we are looking for cells in here to take back down to this level. All right. So those are my trade ideas for today, guys. Let's take a look at the news now. Okay, news for Thursday, the 23rd of November. So as you can see, guys, it's obviously Thanksgiving Day today and Workers' Day in Japan. Ironically, Workers' Day gives you a day off. Um, so yeah, obviously, guys, the American market's going to be very light in volume. So be aware of that, okay? But, you know, the London Open should still be fine. Um, so yeah. They're on holiday. Lucky them. The first piece of news we're interested in. We're, it's a slew of news, guys. Yeah. So at 8.30, 9 o'clock and 9.30, basically, it's just PMI crazy. We've got PMI coming out of the Euro, services, manufacturing, composite. Um, and then we have the same for the UK, services, composite, manufacturing. So all of this PMI data is going to move the euro and the pound, guys, all right? So must be aware of all of this PMI data coming out. That all finishes at 9.30. Um, and then after that, guys, there's no real news. Unless you're still awake, then at 9.45, coming out of New Zealand, we do have core retail sales and retail sales, all right? And at 11.30, we've got uh, core CPI coming out of Japan, okay? Okay. So, yeah, pretty light news day. Remember, it's going to be a little bit low in volume on the uh, New York Open. Uh, so bear that in mind, guys. And uh, please, guys, if you've enjoyed the vid, please subscribe, like, and share. Don't forget to join me for the live stream today, 7 a.m. New York EST time. Have a great trading day, and I'll see you later, guys.